Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Today we're continuing our introduction to the pine family, Pinaceae. Members of the pine family are mostly evergreen trees and shrubs that have thin, narrow, linear, needle-like leaves that are spirally arranged along their stems. As we learned last week, Members of this family are part of a group of plants that evolved early before flowering plants. They're called gymnosperms. Members of this group do not have flowers or fruit and instead they have cones which house their reproductive structures. Pines are also monoecious, which means that male and female reproductive structures are housed on the same plant. This is a branch that broke off and you can see the um, what will become the male cones here that will release their pollen in spring and then the female cone here which would receive the pollen and eventually mature to grow the pine seeds. Members of the Pinaceae family occur across the world mostly in temperate areas in the northern hemisphere. In Florida pines in the genus Pinus are the only members of the Pinaceae family. But if you travel further north, you'll find many other members of the Pinaceae family. You're likely familiar with some of the other native members of the Pinaceae family in North America. There are the fir trees in the genus Abies and the spruce trees in the genus Picea, both of which are often used as Christmas trees. Hemlock trees in the genus Suga are also in this family, as well as the Douglas fir trees in the genus Pseudosuga. Larch and tamarack trees in the genus Larix are some of the more unusual native members of this family because they're deciduous, unlike these evergreens that we've been talking about. They lose their leaves in the fall and have really lovely fall color. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you guys again next week with more information about pines.